Uh, finally, uh, Putin did give a speech last, uh, I think it was yesterday, uh, or the day before yesterday, I can't keep track of the days anymore, um, uh, where he laid out kind of uh, the reasons for invading, for invading Ukraine and his, all his grievances against the West. The grievances came to keep, uh, keep shifting. Um, uh, you know, it used to be... Um, uh, put his speech with all the grievances against the West, uh, you know, uh, the West did this, the West did, this, did that, the West is decadent, uh, the West is, uh, yeah, I mean, um, it, it used to be that uh, last speech he gave, the speech before this last one, he said, yeah, the West is decadent, they have parent number one and parent number two, you know, he, he's, he's, he's big on this uh, woke stuff, and then he says, uh, so this speech, he didn't use parent number one, parent number two, this speech, um, the West, uh, the West is evil because it is uh, in decadence, and and um, because it's and, and Russia stands up against this decadence, and Russia is the is the savior of Western civilization. Although he doesn't use those terms, that's Jordan Peterson's terms, because uh, you know because world culture is normalizing pedophilia and promoting the idea of a gender neutral god. That's what really offends Putin. Is uh, that the West is promoting a gender neutral God, which, which, I, which is somewhat true at the Church of England. I talked about this on a previous show, but uh, who cares? God should be gender neutral. It's bizarre to have a gender for God. Does God have sex? Um, does God have a sex? So he did his usual thing, you know, uh, uh, Ukrainian Nazis and neo Nazis, and he's purifying Ukraine from the Nazis. Uh, uh, you know, it, 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 it's, it's fascinating how, um, you know, the left, you know, the left and right have to use these, uh, uh, you know, uh, extreme labels on anybody who they disagree with in order to delegitimize them and in order to be able to say and do whatever they want against them. So many times, if anybody's on the left, they're a communist. Um, and that, you know, communism is clearly evil, and therefore, uh, therefore it's okay to do whatever with them. I've, I've, I've seen many people do that. Um, if, if you're on the right, you're automatically a Nazi. Of course, for Putin, Putin, who's considered like a, a, a fascist more than a socialist, uh, so he needs to create, he can't call the Ukrainians communists, he calls them Nazis to illustrate that he, he is the good guy. Nazi is a great term to use because everybody knows Nazis are evil. That's unequivocal. That's easy. What makes the Ukrainian Nazis? Nobody knows. Nobody knows, right? Uh, all the supposed uh, atrocities of the Ukrainians against Russian speaker, speakers in the Donbass, uh, while, um, while they, I'm sure there were some uh, really bad actions that the uh, Ukrainians took towards uh, Russian speakers in the Donbass, most of what you hear about that is Russian propaganda. Uh, most of uh, the damage in the Donbass was, uh, was at the uh, Kremlin's instigation uh, and the support of the Kremlin, and it was done by the pro-Russia element in the Donbass attacking, uh, attacking Ukraine. Uh, so uh, while I don't think Ukraine is an innocent, far from perfect, and certainly not a, 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 a pro-capitalist free society, it is light years better as a society and is light year more innocent than uh, Russia is in this, entire, uh, in this entire conflict. At the end of the day, what motivates Putin and what motivates the Russian elite is a mystical notion of a greater Russia, is a mystical, you know, uh, Putin said in his speech the other day, he said explicitly that Ukraine is part of Russia, uh, that it is, it, it, it's an artificial, it's completely artificial that Ukraine was separated from Russia, uh, Ukraine is a part of Russia. Ukraine is Russia. Uh, of course, so is Moldova. So is so is other places around Europe, uh, potentially parts of this great Russian empire. Uh, you know, and, and uh, there's absolutely no reason to believe that if he was successful in Ukraine, he wouldn't try to take Tbilisi in Georgia. He wouldn't try to uh, he wouldn't try to get Kazakhstan back under the umbrella of, of, of Russia. It is under the umbrella, but under explicit, explicit rule of the Russians. So, look, I mean, this is, uh, this is a Russian war of aggression. This is a Russian war of expansion. This is, a, this is Russia's fault from beginning uh, to end. Uh, it, that has been clear from the beginning. It becomes clearer and clearer as we move, uh, as, as the war has evolved, 
and the, and the, the reality is the more the more Putin uh, talks, the more he tries to explain himself, the more he explains what's going on, the clearer it becomes uh, that, that everything we have said, uh, that I've said, that others have said about Putin's motivations, about Russia's motivations, are true. Russia are the bad guys here, unequivocal. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.